For this question, we want to solve the logarithmic equation. Log base 6 of x plus 8 plus log base 6 of x minus 8 equals 2. So once again, I want to remind you of those techniques that we talked about. These are methods for solving logarithmic equations. And as we said, the first method requires that you have a log that is isolated on one side of the equation. We don't have that. We have two logs that are on one side of the equation. The other method requires that you have logs on both sides of the equation that have the same base. And we don't have that either, because on the other side of the equation, we don't have a log. However, it's going to make more sense for us to use the first, um, the first method, even though we don't have a single log isolated. We do have some properties of logarithms that allow us to condense logs um, to a single logarithm using properties called the power rule, the product rule, and the quotient rule for logarithms. So we'll start off by condensing these two logs using the product rule. That'll condense to become log base 6 of x plus 8 times x minus 8. And the reason why we condense to multiplication is because we have addition and these have the same base. So that's what allowed us to condense using the product rule. But now we do have a single log on one side of the equation. And so we're going to be able to use this first method. And we're going to convert our exponential into a logarithmic, excuse me, we're going to convert our logarithmic equation into an exponential. So to write this as an exponential, we're going to use the base of 6. We're using the base of our logarithm as the base of our exponent. The log always equals the exponent. So this log equals 2, so we'll have 2 as our exponent. And then the expression that we have inside the log is what our exponential expression equals x plus 8 times x minus 8. So we've converted our log equation to an exponential, and we're going to solve the equation that we see here. 6 squared is 36. We can multiply out x plus 8 times x minus 8. That's x squared minus 8x plus 8x minus 64. This gives me a quadratic equation and I'll move all the terms to the same side. So I'm going to subtract 36 and I have 0 equals x squared um, minus 100. And we can factor this. This is a difference of squares. And it factors to be x plus 10 times x minus 10. And we can set each factor equal to 0. To get x equals negative 10 and x equals positive 10, we do need to check. Uh, these solutions to make sure that we don't take the log of a negative. So let's check the first one. Let's check x equals negative 10 in the original equation. That would be log base 6 of negative 10 plus 8 plus log base 6 of negative 10 minus 8 equals 2. 
and we can see that negative 10 plus 8 would be a negative, and negative 10 minus 8 would be a negative. So we'll need to throw that solution of negative 10 away. Let's check the other one. So we're doing that. We're throwing that solution away because the log of a negative is undefined. Also, the log of 0 is undefined. So we'll check x equals 10. We have log base 6 of 10 plus 8 plus log base 6 of 10 minus 8 equals 2. 10 plus 8 is a positive. 10 minus 8 is a positive. And so we're going to be able to keep that solution of x equals 10. So the only solution we have for this logarithmic equation is x equals 10. Thank you for checking out my videos. Have a great day.